All right, welcome back, everybody. It's uh, Woody and Riz, and we are joined in studio uh, by Stephanie. Hey! hey, hey. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Stephanie. I'm doing good. All right, well, welcome to the show. You know, Woody, just on the surface, just looking Uh at Stephanie, she doesn't look like a psycho. (laughs) No. Have you ever been told that you're a psycho? No. No? (laughs) No guys ever told you you're a psycho? No. We were trying to figure out what's wrong with you. Um, yeah. You know, with you wanting to do this, but yeah. on the surface, you don't look crazy. Well, she sent us an email saying that uh, she's got an extra ticket to a baseball game coming up on Saturday against the Brewers. She wants us to help her find a date. She's uh, 26 years old, five foot, 130 pounds. Recently got out of a long term relationship. Not looking for anything serious. Just wants to have a good time. And I guess you're going to the game with a, a group of friends, mm-hmm. right? So there's uh, safety in numbers, which. That actually, to be wise, honest with you, wise move made us a little bit more comfortable with this whole idea of sending one of our crazy listeners out with you, because you know if well, something if something terrible happened, we would feel. In awful. all honesty, we don't want <laughs> like we don't want you wound up like you know yeah. bound and gagged in the back of a trunk. I mean, unless <laughs> you're into that kind of stuff. I mean, everybody's got everybody's got their. We've thing. heard the stories. All right, so you're 26 years old. What do you do for a living? I'm a driver. A driver for like what? Like what? Like what do you? Del- are you a delivery driver? I take people to their doctor's appointments. Oh, oh that's okay. Right, with the old people. That's right. Okay, we, d- we did hear that. Mm-hmm. All right, so is that like an awful job? Like, it can is it, be. It can be. How bad does old that people, man, man smell? <laughs> it's actually my vehicle. Oh, you have to drive them in your car? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. boy. They ever uh, crap themselves like in your car and you had to like clean it up? Really? Yes. They have. Really? So how many of those like pine tree air fresheners you have in there? Oh, man. Just to get that stench of old out of there. Yeah. Is that a good job? I mean, you can make some decent money doing that or I'm just kind of doing that for now? Like, what do you want to yeah. do? What's um, your goal? Where do you see yourself in five years? Working with the police department. Okay. So you're going to go to the police academy or? Yeah. Okay. She wants to be a cop. Any like any like kind of a special Department, like, do you want to be like a drug task force? Do you want to be counterterrorism? Like, like, what, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of police work are we looking at? The juvenile district. All right. So stupid kids. Yeah. Yep. That's God good. bless you. Oh no. Hey, somebody's got to deal with them. <laughs> All right. So Stephanie's here. She's looking for this date. What we're gonna do, Stephanie, is we're gonna bring the three guys down here to the studio. We're gonna put you over there. Sorry, you're used to dealing with stinky old people. Patrico should be walking the park. We're gonna put you over in that uh, room with Patrico over there sequestered so we'll close the door door will be closed you won't be able to see the guys they're just going to be bachelor number one bachelor number two and bachelor number three and you can ask as many questions as you feel necessary okay. of the three guys we will then when you feel like you have enough to make a decision about what guy you think would be the best we're going to ask the listeners to vote over text which of the bachelors one two or three they think is the best fit for you okay That's what's going to be the deciding factor. And then we're going to see how your pick matches up with the listener's pick. And we'll go from there. You'll pick somebody, but keep it quiet. Yeah. So just so the big reveal at once, just so we can help the listeners out with making their decision. Mm -hmm. uh, What exactly are you looking for? Like, what's your criteria that going into this? What's your game plan? Um, not looking for anything really, um, serious. Yeah. Um, just looking for somebody to go with me to the baseball game and show me a good time. Okay, so show it's you a good time, easy. meaning like somebody's going to buy you uh, beers and souvenirs or something like that. Like a good time, no. like what? Like what are you looking I don't for? Need we all say that. show you. You're a good looking time. for companionship. It sounds like. Yeah, I mean. Okay. To start with. Okay, but you're open to maybe something developing from this. It's possible. Okay, like what kind of uh, what kind of characteristics are you looking for? Just somebody that has their, you know, life together, normal person. Right. Like um, she said in her email, like she doesn't want any uh, freeloaders or bums. Right. So, like, are you one of the girls? We had that question, what, last week, Riz? We had that survey asking. Would you date somebody, somebody unemployed? unemployed? Yeah. No. So, you would not? No. All right. So they got to have a job. Can they be living at home? With their parents? Yeah. No. No. No living at home. Do they have to have their own car? Can they take public transportation? They kind of need their own car. All right. What about Patrico, Mike? Patrico sent all these guys home. None of these guys qualify. <laughs> well, three of them pedaled here. Maybe a scooter. No. All right. So it, it it sounds like it should be you know pretty much up to the listeners. I mean, whoever they think at that. I mean, it sounds like you have pretty. She's, she's cast a wide net. I, I don't want to say yeah. low expectations, but I mean, like she doesn't have many uh, many you know 
must-haves. No. Right. She's cast a wide yeah. net, so. All right. Well, that's good. It's good to go into a with job, an open transportation, mind. and you live on yeah. your own. All right. That's good. All right. So we're going to move Stephanie over to Patrico's room. We're going to have uh, Lauren bring the three guys down here. We'll bring them in the studio. Let's get to it. War dating game coming up next. You guys will decide who's going on the date this Saturday with Stephanie. Oh, boy. Stephanie, I'm nervous for you. And can I thank you for having so much faith in us? What's wrong with you? Uh, no. We <laughs> still have to get an answer to that. All right, Riz, you ready to go? Yep. All right, let's do this. It's time for the first ever. We're not sure how this is going to go. We'll see. War dating game. Yeah, we're, we're, we're willing to try stuff. All right, so the uh, Woody Riz dating game, we have Stephanie over in Patrico's studio. Stephanie, can you hear us? I can. All right, there there's uh, Stephanie. Stephanie, say hi to the guys. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hey, Patrico, do you have something like um, potted way up? There's or? like an echo in there. I don't know what's going on. Turn whatever it is all the way down. Now, Stephanie, you haven't seen these guys, right? No. Okay. All right, so she's never seen the guys. Uh, say hi to Bachelor number one. Hi, hey. Bachelor number one. Hi. <laughs> That's an awkward start for you, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, get this microphone back. Okay. Bachelor number two, say hi to Stephanie. What's up, Steph? And, What's of up? course, uh, Bachelor number three. Hello, Stephanie. All right. So Hello. we have uh, we have three bachelors. And, Stephanie, uh, before you give each question, you have to address it to a specific bachelor like the dating game. So it's like Bachelor number one, and then you uh, ask the question. So on and so forth. Bachelor number one, you will then answer the question. Uh, not everybody's going to get the same question. So she can just kind of jump around, but she will address you. And uh, there we go. And then, uh, listeners, please pay attention because you guys are going to be the ones voting who gets to go on the date. I will tell you, only one of them has a tie on. It's Take true. the tie off. Uh huh. Um, oh, we, but we, we're not going to tell you which one has the tie. But uh, you know, you can tell he's taking this Come on, very Stephanie, seriously. He may be going to his very professional job after this. Yeah. All right, here we go, Stephanie. Uh, whenever you're ready. Okay, guys. I do want to start with the same question for everybody. I want to know what you guys do for work. So, bachelor number one. Uh, so right now, I go to school full time for international business. I'm doing a marketing internship. Uh, so I got to go there after this, and then I wait tables also. All right. Bachelor number two. I'm a machinist out in Eureka, and I also work at Little Caesars on the weekends. All right. Bachelor number three. I'm a welder on the JB on the Mississippi River. I work on barges and stuff like that. Wow. All right. Okay. Start with bachelor number one. What is your idea of a romantic evening? Um, so I have two different romantic evenings, a first date romantic evening, dinner, drinks, maybe a movie, something like that. And then, you know, kiss, good night, whatever. Now, if we've been together for a while, romantic evening, pretty much the same, but the ending, we take it to the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wonderful answer. <laughs> All right. Bachelor number two, where would the perfect spot be for a first date? Definitely somewhere we could uh, walk around, get to know each other. Can't do the movies because you can't really talk in the movies. So a nice casual dinner and maybe go hang out down by the river or go get some drinks at a quiet little bar. What river are we talking about? Uh, anyone. Big River, Merrimack, Mississippi. I know a lot of places. <laughs> river now, City. Notice he didn't say, I'm going to throw you in a sack and then throw you in the river. Yeah. No, no, no. You, no. And, I, and I'm so surprised perfect. since you guys are going for a date at a baseball, you should have said baseball game. See? <laughs> All right. Next question, Stephanie. Uh, bachelor number three, what would make the perfect date? Uh, probably me cooking you dinner. I'm a really uh, good cook. That's about it. What would you cook me? Uh, probably steak tortellini. Uh, I'm pretty good with Italian food. And then, I don't know, probably a concert after that. Nice. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Bachelor number one, how do you make holidays special? Uh, well, me just being there is special, but I like to spend time with family. Um, and generally when I'm with them, it's a lot of cocktails. But uh, just a lot of, like, nice memories, you know, spending time with the people you care about. Um, you know, like Christmas and stuff like that. That's always fun. So. Okay. Bachelor number two, what's your relationship like with your parents? Uh, I don't have a father, but my relationship with my, gra or my grandmother and my mother are both really good. Uh, I talk to him probably three, four times a week, hang out with him all the time. Uh, my grandmother helps me out a lot with my son. So, 
Bachelor right, number three, next. have you ever been married? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> it takes your minute to come up with a question, but then, you know, the no question. Two seconds. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry. Bachelor number one, do you want to have children? Oh, yeah, I'd love to have a lot of them. The fun part is making them, actually, but then you get to... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have some good times with them afterwards, so I think that would be cool. <laughs> Bachelor number two, what color best describes your personality and why? Uh, anything bright. Bright yellow, bright green. Um, I'm just a fun, bubbly person. Just like to be out, have fun, kind of like a social butterfly. Bachelor number three, if you were stranded on an island, what would the three things you would bring with you lighter food and water well you're, you're water's fine. already there <laughs> well if it's a desert island i can't desert i can't drink the water it's all salt it's actually a smart answer and no it is very you know? very smart yeah what about rain survivalist <laughs> okay bachelor number one what is your idea of the perfect marriage proposal um so i had this idea where i would go to the hospital and I would like bandage my hand up with uh, like some bloody gauze and stuff like that and have him call my significant other and she'd race down there and she'd be all freaked out and worried about me and I'd take this bandage off to show her my mangled hand and then there would be a ring there and she would be like so happy that I'm not injured she would say yes <laughs> okay bachelor number two you need to cancel your weekend plans because of rain what do you do instead Hang around the house, maybe watch a movie. Uh, normally, don't cancel because of rain. Rain don't usually stop me from doing anything. But yeah, probably just hang out, watch a movie, cook some dinner. That's about it. Bachelor number three. Yes. What are your best qualities? Uh, my tall. I'm tall. My voice, and I'm really handsome. Really, <laughs> really handsome. Bachelor number one, do you have facial hair? I usually try to rock like a five o'clock shadow, but it doesn't get too much more than that. I look Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Mexican? I'm not Mexican. <laughs> Stephanie, would that matter? Have you ever dated outside your race? Uh, yeah, I have. You have? All right, so being uh, Mexican or anything else doesn't really bother you? No. Okay. Would it bother your parents? Possibly. Fair question. Huh? Very fair question. <laughs> yes. Get back at daddy. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Bachelor number two, how do you impress the dates, parents, or friends? Uh, I'm an extremely polite person. Like I said, I'm a social butterfly. I can fit in in any situation. So uh, just be respectable and, you know, try not to act too ignorant. Bachelor number three, so we're going to the baseball game. Would you get me a hot dog or a bratwurst? Mm, that's a toughie. Probably bratwurst. You can load those things down with free condiments. <laughs> <laughs> a good bratwurst doesn't need condiments. Ooh. Ooh. Needs mustard. Uh, bachelor number one, do you give money to the homeless people? Yeah, I mean, I and most of the time it's out of guilt or I look bad if I don't uh, walk by one of those little bell ringers and put some money in because everyone else does. But it does make me feel good. I don't like to brag about it, but I try to when I can. Bachelor number two, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Uh, definitely Ireland. Definitely Ireland. I think the scenery is awesome. I love mountains. Uh, the weather would be great. I'm Irish and Scottish, so that would help out too. The motherland? Yes, the motherland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephanie, two more questions. Uh, make sure you choose them carefully. Okay. Where was that? Two or three? three. You have two more uh, questions. You can ask of whoever you want. Are you'd like. You don't have to go in order. If maybe you uh, already have it kind of narrowed down in your head. Skip around. Bachelor number one, what are some nicknames you had? Uh, I don't know if they're appropriate for the air. Um, <laughs> Make them appropriate. <laughs> uh, I've been called an a-hole quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> that's generally what most people call me. Um, because so you're really I, selling yourself there? I will. <laughs> it's more like uh, think Dr. House. Like I'm more of like a charmy, smarmy Ace hole, a hole, whatever. Can I say that? They're fine. Go. I, I'm an asshole, but like in a charming, oh, fun well, way. Nah, see that you can't that say. You oh, can't say. I'm sorry. Yeah. You said I can't. Well, you just said charming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, All right, so guys. Nickname a hole. Right. 
Next question. Question Stephanie, number last two. Question. What is your favorite body part on a female? Uh, eyes. Oh. Got to have pretty eyes. Liar. <laughs> oh, or or a nice tush. But all right, I'm, there you go. Eyes first. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a butt man. All right, there you go. All right, all right so now uh, it's the uh, listener's chance to vote. All right, so we have uh, Bachelor number one, Bachelor number two, and Bachelor number three. Now, Stephanie, you're not going to tell us who exactly is your choice just yet. We're going to let the uh, listeners vote first. So you're just going to text the number of the Bachelor you think should get to go on the date with Stephanie. Bachelor number one. Two or three. Just text the number over to 48258. That's all you got to do. Just the number over to 48258. When we come back from the break, Stephanie will get to uh, meet the guys. And then what we're going to do, we're going to tell her who she's going on the date with and see how her yep. pick matches up with the listener pick. It's the first ever Woody and Riz dating game. So one, two, or three to 48258. Okay. Patrico, please bring uh, Stephanie back to the studio. She has uh, yet to see any of these guys. I don't even think she's uh, managed to catch a glimpse in the hallway. You, nope. have, you haven't seen any of these guys yet, right? No. So not even a quick glimpse. Okay. All right. So uh, she was very carefully, Patrico said, like uh, while she was going through the questions, like trying to select the right question for the right bachelor. And uh, I, I mean, hopefully you have some kind of idea at this point, right? I mean, of the three guys, did, w- w- was there like one standout to you or was it as close as the voting is on the texter? Uh, there was a standout. There was a standout. Mm-hmm. All right, well, See, I who- thought she was quite surgical with her mm-hmm. with her questions, you know, very, yeah, again, selecting them very carefully. Uh, who, the right bachelor. Who least impressed you of the three? One. Bachelor yeah, why, number why one. Is that? You could be honest. I mean, there's there's no hurt feelings here. I mean, he's a comedian, which is a plus, but he just kind of seemed a little bit too much for me. So it was too much. It yeah. was like, was like, it overconfidence? Or just maybe. trying too hard to be funny, maybe? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's all personal preference. All right. So least impressed with uh, Bachelor number one. And then who was your most impressive Bachelor? Two. All right. So Bachelor number two is Stephanie's pick. She would like him to go to the baseball game with her. Let's see as we close out the listener votes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, the bachelor that got the least amount of votes and we'll bring them in one at a time and you can meet them. See what you you missed out on. All right. Okay, so look how close this is. (laughs) Very close. Look how close this is. Don't you look. You stay right there. <laughs> Keep your eyes forward. Okay, so with 23% of the vote, 23% of the vote, that is Bachelor number one. Here comes hey. Bachelor number one. Come on in, Bachelor number one. Bachelor number one uh, got the least amount of votes, and it, is, he it is. is the comedian. The comedian himself. All right, Introduce so. yourself. Hi, I'm Blair. Blair. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, so like physically looking at him, uh, like on a scale of like one to ten, forget his his personality that you did not like. Blair, get up on the microphone there. Okay. Yeah. So like, what do you think? I mean, he's a good looking guy. Physically, your type. Yeah. Yeah. Does the tie kill it for you? <laughs> now, do you feel any different, like uh, after hearing his answers and now seeing him in person? Does it change things a little bit? No. No? All right. Oh. Sorry, Blair. <laughs> I've worked in restaurants, so I know what goes on. All right. Oh. <laughs> like what? Riz and I always hate hearing these stories, but we gotta know. Now we gotta Come on, know. It really is like the movie waiting. Really? So well, like people have... are stuffing like French toast down their pants? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. God. Have you, now have you done that kind of stuff? Spitting people's food and No. Toy and she's only food? saying that because she's gonna be a law yeah. enforcement officer. Have you done that before? <laughs> I've never done anything to anyone's food, but I've had sex there before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Where? Uh, all right. Uh, in Me too. both bathrooms. You have two? Where? Yeah, in the parking lot. Rooftop. 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 Man, what kind of restaurants you guys working at? <laughs> like, is it fast food or is it like no, a table no, no, service? Like a fancy no. restaurant? Yeah. yeah. Like cloth napkins and stuff? Real fancy stuff? Not yeah. real fancy, but... Like ketchup's already on the table or you got to bring it out? I got to bring it out. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is fancy. <laughs> I don't ever and go they to... they serve it in a little dish? I don't ever go to places like that. Yeah. All right. Well, Blair, sorry, man. I... It's all right. Sucks. Uh, why don't you step over here? Sorry. All right. All right. Nice to meet you. All nice right. Nice to meet you. And maybe things don't work out and every other guy on the planet dies. You got a shot there, Blair. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the other two contestants get hit by a car in the parking lot. <laughs> You're in. All right, so uh, the runner-up, and it was so close between the winner and the runner-up. The runner-up with 38% of the vote 
is nominee number three, bachelor number three. Come on in. All right, they're making their way into the studio. Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> Dude, look at this guy. How's it going, Bachelor, Stephanie? Bachelor number three. What's your name, Bachelor number three? My name's Ryan. All right, that's uh, that's Ryan. Say hi to Stephanie. Hi, Ryan. Nice, nice to meet you. you. All right, so same question. Does it uh, change anything? Uh, look, is this more your kind of guy? Like, who, who is your ideal guy? Is like a bigger guy like this? I'm, I... Doesn't matter. Kind of yeah. Well, how tall are you? Five foot? Five foot. And how how tall are you? Six foot seven. Jeez. You're six seven. Wow, look at that. You're right there at BJ height. That's all, that's so convenient. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Well, he's huge. That's a, that's a big guy right there. That's the first thing I thought, too. Right? I mean, <laughs> it's just easy for everybody. Yep. You know? You don't gotta get tired, hunched over. He's just you, you can know, like pick her up and toss whoa, around yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like, now do you do you like dating little chicks, like smaller chicks, or do you like oh, uh, yeah, girls favorite. who are like so you like spinners? Oh yeah. Oh, good for you. Good for you. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much for being here. Sorry, uh, sorry, things didn't work out with this. However, he has another proposal for us that we're going to see uh, if uh, if we can get Patrico to do something to uh, to take him up on his offer. Oh yes, it's yeah, not so- on a date, Patrico. Don't worry, he doesn't want to like backdoor you or anything. Yeah. So Ryan, stand over there. All right, Ryan, step on uh, step on over here now, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. It is time to meet the winner of the date with Stephanie. Whew. Here we and go, Stephanie, Stephanie. What do you know? It was indeed your pick that got the majority of the vote, only by one percentage point, thirty-nine percent of the vote, and the winner of the first ever Woody and Riz dating game. Nominee number two, bachelor number two. There he is. There he is. Hey, all right. Oh, they oh, hug. They look, hug. Yeah. it's like the real dating game. That's, that's, that's what they do. That's the <laughs> hug right there. Might as well say hi the right way. Hi. All right, so uh, batch number two, your name is? Uh, Mike. That's uh, that's Mike, Mike, Stephanie, Stephanie, Mike. All right, so uh, so what do you think about your choice? You're happy with your choice? Yeah. Wow, didn't sound very confident there, Well, it, it's just very awkward in here. You know, yeah. now they know they're actually going to have to go together to yeah. this game. I actually now, have to spend time with this woman now. Yeah, hey, you know what? Congratulations to both you kids. We wish you the uh, best of luck. Hope you have a, a good time. How many of your friends are going? About 20. 20 friends. Damn, no pressure, dude. So, Mike, no, you no, promise? No, no. They're not sitting yeah. with us. Promise oh, us. Not. Okay. Promise us you will not murder her. Oh, no, there's no murder. Yeah, <laughs> no, listen, no murders. The pistol stays at the house. No murders, no roofies. I might give yes. you a pat down beforehand. Yeah. Oh, she wants to be in law enforcement. You probably have, like, even, like, all the handcuff and, like, Fifty Shades of Grey kind yeah, of do stuff. Do you own like, handcuffs? Yes. Are nice. you into that kind of stuff? Like, I've never read Fifty Shades of Grey. No, but, like, are you into, like, the whole, like, uh, bondage, uh, tying down, S&M kind of thing? Sexually? I see that no. smile. Well, a, uh, I on. see these, that smile. These are legitimate questions of getting to know each other. <laughs> Pull the hair. Don't you grab think? I mean, throat. I would think like somebody who would uh, want to be like a police officer and in the handcuffs and that kind of thing. Like uh, you know, that might play more into that whole like you know, either dominating or being mm-hmm. dominated kind of thing. Right. Well, if she wants to be a law enforcement person. Right. It'd be more of a dominant role. Right. For her, I yeah. am. You yeah. are. All right. Good for you. All right. Well, she has had sex on the roof of a restaurant. You ever done that? No, no. I've never no. had sex at work. Yeah, crazy, uh, <laughs> craziest place you've ever gotten down though. Uh, movie theater. Movie theater, really? All right. Wow. In the bathroom. It must have been a really no, good movie. movie Lots of people she around. On, she sat on my lap and really, and wow. Nonchalantly. <laughs> now are you, you're not getting jealous here in that story, right? <laughs> no. no. Okay, yeah, it's too early for that. Have you ever punched anybody during sex in the face? No. All right. I'm close. Right. I just want to see how Chrissy. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations to Stephanie, Thanks, Mike. Man. Congrats, buddy. Mike, congratulations. You are the winner. Thanks to the listeners for helping us out on this. You guys are going to have to report back and let us know how the whole thing went, right? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now so it's going down on Saturday. Saturday. Now you don't have a girlfriend, right? No. You're not dating anybody currently. I uh, know. Okay. Good. When was the last time you were uh, dating somebody? Three months ago. Four months ago. Was it a long-term relationship yeah, or it something was like more? Two years. Really? All Did right, you so break good. up with her? Similar yeah. story. You broke yeah. up with her. Yeah, right. So you guys, uh, she, she cheated, cheated on you. Yeah. She cheated on you. No, no, okay. okay. So we got a drive by horn ready to go. You cheat on her? <laughs> no. All right. Got no problem. Bring out the war wagon. Bring second time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it, dude. We'll we'll drive by horn, bitch. No problem. Yeah. Well, the war wagon's under the carport right now, <laughs> so we're good to go. All right. Well, uh, well, thank you guys. We actually have uh, our other bachelor, bachelor number three, who is going to have an offer for Patrico. Cash money on the table. Coming up next.